Ah, the gate to Sleeping Village. We should visit Mayor's house. You never take me anywhere nice. Ooh, ooh, either you are more scared than I thought, or that's the smell of the countryside. You managed to get the dragon armor, Dan. Well, I'd wear it often if I were you. Your everyday get-up makes you look like a... You managed to get... Dragon Island. Islands with dragons on were once considered quite the fashionable property investment. When we meet dragon, don't be intimidated, okay? Just think of it as fire-breathing armored lizard the size of a house. Those crystals on the ceiling look loose. A tremor might bring them falling down. Galamere Plains. Big, flat, and home to a circus. What are you waiting for? Hmm?
I work in carnival once, but I quit. Second billing to Sammy the Seal, boy. <laughs> Give me a break. The Enchanted Forest. You need a very specific microclimate and a loamy soil to produce an enchanted forest. Okay, remember, we seek the forest witch. Just look for old hippie chick, probably hugging trees or something. Smell. Scented <laughs> candles and lentil bake. Mm-hmm. 
I don't like this! Make haste with your weapons done, or we go the way of the kebab!
Return to the graveyard. We went there earlier. If you have reasonable short-term memory, you might remember it. We need to get out of this graveyard. The glass demon's key might help. This path leads to Undertaker. <laughs> An old acquaintance of yours, eh, Dan? Can I help you, my musty friend? Greetings, stranger. I'm Death. It is I who eased the passage of lost souls on their final journey. The hours are hell, but I wanted a job working with people. <laughs> but hold. Have we not met before? Sir Daniel Fortescue! I've done you once already. I never forget a corpse. It's that pesky Zarok. I'm up to my eye sockets in the ex-deceased. Business hasn't been this brisk since the great massacre of Melomede. I may have to take on an intern. <laughs> Help you fight Zarok? Of course. If only to get some rest. I'd be off on holiday topping up my tan if it wasn't for that evil old madman. But there is a way to stop him. 
Hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll need the Anubis Stone. It was used by Zarok a hundred years ago to create an undead army. The very army that you fought on the day of your, uh, arrow-based mishap. After that most bloody of battles, the Galamir people acquired the stone. To prevent its power being used again for evil, they broke it into four and gave each piece to a trusted member of the realm. You'll need to find all four pieces to use the stone's power. Then you can summon up an army that can compete with Zarak's elite guard, the terrifying Fazguls. They sound like a trapeze act, but trust me, they're a lot less fun. <coughs> well, I've seen and heard many things on my deathly duties. I could write a book, you know. Of course, no publisher would touch it. <laughs> All I want these days is romantic fiction and epic poems. Anyway, one piece was buried with the great Mullock chief. His tomb is in this very cemetery. The mayor of Sleeping Village inherited a piece from his predecessor and knows its current whereabouts. There's a rumour that the Witch of Pumpkin Gorge has a piece in her possession, although she may have put that about herself to drum up some tourist fortune-telling trade. Ah, yes, and the fourth and final piece is in possession of the deceased King of Galamir. Assuming he is still deceased, you never know these days, do you? I mean, look at you. But if he is, it'll be locked in his castle vault. Okay? <laughs> You're very welcome. Now go and stop Zarok before he drives me to an early grave. Sandals of the Wandering Hippie, the famous Mullock Chief's Memorial.
A piece of the Anubis stone. Its power and worth is unimaginable. I know a bar where I can get this for this. Galamere Plains. Big, flat, and home to a circus. What are you waiting for? Hmm? Hey, I lost my sister at the carnival around here once. That coconut shy was rigged, I tell you. The gate to sleep. Welcome to Sleeping Village, where zombies gamble like poorly coordinated spring lambs. Hey, stop! You can't do this to me, Aunt Mayor, I am. I can do what I like, you foolish pot belly. Now, once again, where is the Shadow Demon Claw? I can't say. I'll not betray my constituency. Not in an election year. No, oh, you must.
Pumpkin Gorge, not George, Gorge. Pumpkin George hasn't been around these parts for years. We need to find Pumpkin Witch. Let's hope she still has her piece of the Anubis stone. Rampaging orange vegetable life. It'd be right peculiar. <laughs> oh no, Tain her doing. It's that pumpkin king as rules him now. Weird fella he is, with a devilish temper and a basketball for a head. And that's why I'm trapped. I tried cutting, I tried chewing, but these roots are tougher than yesterday's pasty. Maybe you can find a weakness somewhere. Get I free, Zer Knight, and I'll give you the key to old witchy girl's camp. How's that? Maybe then you can find her and help her bring her unruly project. <laughs> I wonder if this means we have invented the elevator.
Hello, stranger. What can I sell you today? A nice bit of schmatter? Well, shave me. 